While building a gaming PC is nowhere near as intimidating as it might initially seem, you know, once you bite the bullet and start getting into it, we'll freely concede that for many people, simply buying a pre-built system can be the much simpler and stress-reducing option. With that being said, however, for the price some professional retail systems can actually cost, it's not exactly surprising to find that many people might look to the second-hand market for some cost-effective gaming fun. So with this in mind, we decided earlier this month to take a look at some of the gaming PC options available on Facebook Marketplace. And while there were admittedly a couple that definitely seemed to represent some great value for money and were actually kind of representative of a legitimate gaming PC, there did seem to be a substantial majority that was, well, um, there's no real diplomatic way I can say this. So I'm just gonna say it. They were shit. Now, not just for one reason, but multiple reasons. And if you really do fancy checking that out, the link is in the description below. Now, given the absolutely hugely positive feedback we got from our fans while covering this though, we've decided to take another dive into Facebook Marketplace and the wild and wacky world of the gaming PC. You never know, our previous video might have had a positive effect in maybe getting a bit of a more realistic approach from sellers. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it didn't. <laughs> but before we get into that, here's a quick word from our video sponsor. Andy, what are you watching? It's, uh, it's, it's not what you think. Wow, it's so big. Why, thank you. It's the new AOC AG493 UCX. 49 inches of pure performance and a refresh rate of 120 hertz. It's so fast. You can even do two at a time. What? You can connect two devices at a time and split the screen. With FreeSync Premium Pro, a 32 to nine aspect ratio and a built-in KVM, you'll be finished in no time. Gaming, I mean. What, what did you think I mean? Get your mind out the gutter and click the link in the description to find out more. Now, I wanna start this one once again by stating that while we've attempted to hide all of these people's contact details, we don't want you to get in touch with the seller of anything we feature here. And no, this isn't just because we really, really don't recommend the system, but we prefer to keep our trolls in-house wherever possible. So kicking things off, we have a super fast gaming PC. This already sounds promising. Now, when you look at the specifications though, the term super fast really does start to fall into perspective. Featuring a Ryzen 3600, Nvidia 2060, and 16 gig of Corsair 3200 MHz DDR4 RAM. I will note that while this isn't a bad specification, by today's standards, it's definitely not super fast. <laughs> Putting the specs to one side though, we've got to take a closer look at the presentation. Cables are everywhere. And well, let's just say that while having a PC on a carpeted floor is never you know, ideal, they've certainly found a few unique ways to get around this. A Diary of a Wimpy Kid book collection is definitely a unique way to lift the tower a little to stop the carpet from completely suffocating the PSU. And we can even see what looks to be a used COVID test box. Let's just hope the system came back negative. What do you actually get inside the case though? Well, Based on that super blurry image, your guess is as good as mine. Topping this off, quite literally, we also have what appears to be a used toilet roll sitting on top of the case. Maybe it's some kind of advanced acoustic reduction kit. And for an eye-watering 1,150 pound though, this one does actually get even better because the seller, get this, is willing to throw in, yes, throw in a keyboard and mouse for an extra hundred pounds. I mean, yes, keyboards and mice can be expensive, but for a hundred pounds, I wanna know exactly what I'm getting here because based on everything else I can see, I suspect it's going to be something like this. And I still love how he's going to throw that in for a hundred pounds. That is literally the opposite definition of throwing it in when you have to pay extra for it. What's being thrown in here? Now, when budgets are tight, sometimes you have to simply get what you can afford. 
When a gaming PC is priced at £190 though, the alarm bell should kind of already be ringing. In fairness though, and in something certainly very different from what we usually encounter on Facebook Marketplace, the system here actually looks clean, and the pictures of it, albeit not many, are fairly decent. At this point though, the good stuff ends. The bottom line is that the case says Dell, and although clearly having had a few changes over the years, this still carries all the hallmarks of one of their affordable systems from the mid 2000s. With an Nvidia GTX 1050, Intel i7 3770 and 8 gig of very generic DDR3 RAM, it does at least come with a 120 gig SSD, a storage drive that's probably been mostly gobbled up by a Windows 10 Pro installation, but it's not bad. Now, if this just said desktop PC, we'd be 100% willing to give this one a pass. It is only £190 after all, but given that the seller has specifically put gaming PC, I'd love to see some of the benchmark figures from this. It's just gonna be terrible. For the next one, I'm gonna start by saying that we were very uncomfortable talking about it within the office. This gaming PC legitimately provided us with something of a moral conundrum. With a quick and crude bit of image editing though, this one was simply too good to ignore. Starting with the PC itself, no specifications at all. I mean, not a great start for a gaming system. And from the one image in which we do get to look inside, we see one of the worst rat nests of non-cable management I've ever seen. And what about those images though? Did, did you see what we saw? And no, we're not talking about the fact that they could really, really do with giving their place a tidy. So next, here we have a gaming. That's it. The seller's somewhat ineloquent starting description to what we presume they meant to say was gaming PC. They must have got maybe distracted while attempting to write a description. Either way, that or they were too embarrassed to actually even finish the sentence correctly. Even then though, they still only managed to say a whole lot of nothing. On the plus side, this system does have some of the specifications listed a one terabyte storage drive, that's it. Oh, and it has Wi-Fi too. And as we all know, these are the kind of two key components that go into any gaming PC. If it wasn't for the fact that they're throwing in a 19 inch TV, no, not a monitor, with this system, then it's 175 pound price tag would have been completely insane. For this one, we actually have a pretty potent setup, an Intel i9-9900KS, NVIDIA 2080 Ti, 64 gig of DDR4 RAM, all coming with a nice sleek and tidy setup within a solid Corsair case, some nice RGB lighting and even some custom cables. Overall, this system does actually look pretty awesome and clearly with more than enough grunt to handle modern AAA gaming. What could possibly be wrong with this one though? Well, how about the fact that the owner wants <clears throat> £4,500? And let me just say that again. £4,500. I mean, taking what we know of the specifications, which admittedly are not in full, even under today's somewhat unfavourable climate when it comes to prices, to build this system yourself would likely cost no more than two, 2,500 quid. In fact, let's go nuts and say £3,000 just to give some wiggle room for graphics cards and whatnot. Put simply, there is absolutely no way on God's green and flat earth that this should cost £4,500. For that kind of money on these specifications, I'd expect to see some kind of hugely elaborate custom loop cooling. Nope, though it's just a decent, if mildly generic, Corsair AIO. I mean, this is without a doubt the most ludicrously overpriced system I've ever seen on Facebook Marketplace. A better title would be Gaming PC for Sale, Willing to Trade for Kidneys or Bitcoin. That would work. So similar to our last video, we wanna end on a good one to show that despite the fact that Facebook Marketplace is mostly best avoided if shopping for a gaming PC, there are a few, few sane people on there with a reasonably kind of priced, well-presented and decently spec system. 
No, a monster this ain't, but solid it is. Coming with an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X, Gigabyte 3060 12GB graphics card, MSI B450 Gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard, 16GB of DDR4 3200MHz RAM, plenty of storage including a 1TB SSD, and a slick Corsair T220 case. This ticks kind of all of the right boxes for great mid to upper mid tier gaming PC. For £840, while you could probably build this yourself for slightly less money, maybe around £100, that's not much of an overhead for what is clearly a well put together and pretty much well thought out build. It's a fair price for an entirely fair modern gaming PC. And there you have it, our latest and again mostly disturbing deep dive into gaming PCs on Facebook Marketplace. Given the response to our last video on this topic, this is looking likely to turn into a regular-ish feature of ours. We love it, and apparently you guys and girls do too, but let us know in the comments what you thought. And no, Facebook Marketplace isn't the only rabbit hole we can go down. eBay, Gumtree. I mean, given that you can post for free on there though, well, let's just say that it does tend to attract people looking for a bargain, or in many of these cases, not. If you are struggling when buying some used parts, I'd actually highly recommend heading over to our Discord. Again, the link is down below and me, the team and the rest of our 3000 members will be more than happy to at least steer you in the right direction so you don't get fooled or robbed by some of these joke systems. With that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like and a sub to the channel would be amazing and I will see you in the next one. See you later guys.